what is good creative studio again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this meet the champ movie poster i'm sure you're going to enjoy this tutorial now if you need the exercise file simply make use of the link in the description section of this video i already cropped the pictures i'm going to be using today but in the exercise file you're not going to have the pictures cropped so i'm going to advise you to crop the pictures before creating your version of this tutorial now sit back relax and keep watching So I'm going to create a new document now. So I'm going to click on file and I'm going to select new. I'm going to give my project name. Um, let's just call it the champ. All right. And which is going, my width is going to be 720 height is going to be uh, 900. My resolution is going to be 72 and color mode is going to be on RGB. Now the reason I'm using this um, frame size here is because my plan is to post this on instagram so i'm using the instagram portrait frame size and i am using the right color mode which is rgb uh uh for the project all right now i'm going to leave every other settings the way they are and i'm going to select the create button now the first thing i'm going to do is to go to the, my exercise file and i'm going to drag the image of my character in here like so and make this big all right and this should be somewhere here like that and i'm gonna hit the enter key on my keyboard here all right so this is okay then i'm going to um create a new layer then i'm gonna call this layer black all right i'm gonna hit the okay button then make sure that your foreground here is set to black so what i did now is i just click on this icon here to change my foreground and my background to black and white now i'm going to draw a marquee shape here like so then i'm going to apply the color of my foreground to the layer by holding on alt and backspace like that all right so i'm going to hit ctrl d to take away the marquee and the next thing that i'm going to do is to drag my um basketball court image here so i'm going to drag that and drop on the new on the new document tab here and i'm going to zoom in because i'm going to be adding the basketball net to the project so having two basketball nets is not going to help what i'm trying to achieve here so i'm going to be using this sport healing tool to do this so i'm going to select this now and i'm going to take this out now i'm sure some of you you may be wondering oh caesar won't people notice that we made this move no nobody's gonna notice except um if you tell them all right so don't tell anybody so i'm gonna take this out yeah that's that uh so i'm gonna zoom out now and I'm gonna drag this and drop here like that and i'm gonna convert this to a smart object now the reason why i'm going to do this which is the converting to the smart object is i'm not going to be adjusting the size of this image so i don't want to lose the quality of the image all right so it's good to convert it to a smart object all right then i'm going to move this and drop here all right this should be somewhere here and i'm going to make a copy of this then this should go somewhere here but I'll activate the free transform on this right click and flip this this way. Now, one of the reasons why I decided to use this image is because of the trees here. All right. Because this tree is part of what's going to beautify what I am trying to achieve on um, this project. Okay. So I'm going to just select the two layers and hit Ctrl E. All right. And I'm going to use the spot healing tool here to just take this um, arrow out from the project all right now the other thing i'm going to do now is i need to extend the cloud of um, the image so i'm going to teach you part one of my tricks on how i always achieve that so but the first thing we need to do is to clip this image inside this layer all right the layer of our dude here so i'm going to hold down alt and place my mouse in between the two layers all right so if i don't see the arrow facing down with the box i'm not going to click so once i see that and then i know i'm good to go then i'm going to click to put that inside the image 
all right then i'm going to create a new layer again all right then i'm going to call this new layer cloud okay then i'm going to zoom in increase my brush size and i'm going to make sure that i'm on the brush too okay now under my brush settings here i'm going to go to the brush tip and make sure i'm on the soft round brush so because i have um, a graphics tablet i'm going to make sure that transfer is checked and my control here is going to be on pen pressure but if you don't have a graphics tablet simply turn this off and go straight to flow here and reduce your flow to 11 and you're going to achieve the same move so what i'm teaching you guys how to do here is how to control your brush all right how to control the strength of your brush so i'm going to hold on alt and sample a color from here and increase my brush size and then apply the color to here to this part of <laughs> of the project or right, i'm going to do the same thing i hold on alt and I apply the same thing here hold on alt again pick a color apply here alt uh, like that all right All right, this is good. So what I'm going to do now is to select the layer of um, my trees here. All right, and add a layer max to it. Then I'm going to select the brush tool and make sure that my foreground here is set to black. All right, and don't forget, guys, remember to turn your flow back to 100 if you are using um, your mouse. All right, so then I'm going to apply my brush to the layer the to the layer mask of the three um layer all right so i'm going to reduce my brush size and then apply that here because i need to blend the image all right so we're blending the image now so i'm going to do the same thing here like that and like that all right so i think we're good now then the next thing i'm going to do is to drag and drop the image of the cloud and this time i'm going to make this real big and this should be somewhere here like that and I'm going to add a layer max to this. Now make sure that your cursor is on the thumbnail of the layer max, all right? Because we need to fade um, some part of the layer. So make sure that your uh, foreground is set to black like mine, and I'm gonna increase my brush size, and then I'm just gonna take this out from here, like so, all right? So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I think I mistakenly moved this. Okay, so let's just apply that back. All right. So I'm going to select this, hold on, hold, and just get back here like that. All right. So make this visible. Then select the layer mask and the brush tool, and then fit this in like that, and it's secure. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Same thing here. Okay, like that. This is good. Um, so I'm going to select the cloud layer, activate the free transform. I'm thinking I should just drag this up more. All right, so I'm holding down shifts as I do that. This is good. Yep. So we can even push this up a bit. That's good. Now, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to drag my um, basketball nets to the project. So I'm going to drag that and drop here. And I'm going to right click on this and say flip horizontal. And this should be somewhere here. All right, can even make it a bit bigger and just move this back like so. Okay, Put it here, and I'm gonna select the entity. Now, if you look at the image, I have all this white um, feel here. So what I'm gonna do is I need to take that out. So I'm, I'm first I'll change my blend mode here to uh, multiply it. Now make a copy of this and change this to normal. And I'm going to blend it this by double clicking on the layer to activate the layer style. And I'm going to move from this side down to the side like that. All right. Then I'm going to select the OK button and I'll make a copy of this again. And this should be above this and change this to normal. 
then i'm going to add the layer marks now what would I, i'm trying i'm trying to do now is my board here i need to bring it back so i'm going to use the lasso tool to do that all right i'm going to use the lasso tool to crop the image okay then i'm going to apply the color of my foreground to the layer mask by holding on alt and backspace and i'm going to hit ctrl d all right so take away the marquee and i'm going to select ctrl i to reverse uh, the mask okay so then the next thing i'm going to do now is to add smoke image here from the exercise file so i'm going to increase the brush the size of this and hit the enter key now this should be behind the layer of the uh, basketball net and i'm going to change the blend mode to screen so then i'm going to select the move tool and just move this down here like that and make a copy of this move this up here activate the free transform and i'm going to rotate it this way all right so i'm going to move this here okay and reduce the opacity like that and move it out a bit and the other thing i'm going to do now is um uh, if you look at this side of my um subjects uh it's too uh it's not blending with the background so we need to do that so i'm going to select the layer of um the my character here and add a layer mask to it then i'm going to select the brush tool now make sure that you are on the soft round brush under your brush tip uh, brush tip shape option here and i'm going to reduce my brush size and then i'm going to gently apply this to this now please when you're doing this don't apply it to the point where it's going to touch the ear of your uh, character all right so i'm going to gently take this out and don't fade the head completely okay now this is beautiful then the other thing i'm going to do now is to select the very, very first layer and add the black and white adjustment if you don't have the adjustment tab simply go to windows and activate it here all right so let's continue guys so the other thing i'm going to do again is to um, create a new layer above the basketball net and click on this icon to change my foreground and my background to black and white increase my brush size and then i'm going to gently apply the brush to this side of my project all right because i'm going to be adding the uh, basketball player to the project okay so i'm going to gently apply this here all right so i'm going to apply that here like that now what i'm going to do now is to put this inside the um layer of my character here so i'm going to drag that and drop here and this should be above this now this is good so let's drag the image of our basketball player all right now i'm going to drag that and drop there and make this smaller and this should be here we can even move this above this all right and activate the free transform on the layer all right and this should be here be here like that then we need to drag and drop the image of the basketball so i'm going to drag that and drop here and make this smaller all right then this should be here um let's make it a bit bigger to be here i'm going to rotate it this way um it's time for me to start adding my colors so i'm going to first off go to the um adjustment button here and select solid so my very first color here is this so if you need the code um you can go straight to the descri description section of this tutorial you're going to see the color codes there so i'm going to paste this here and hit the okay button and then i'm going to blend it this so i'm going to double click on the layer to activate the layer style and i'm going to move this because i only want this to affect the shadow of the project so this should be here all right it should be somewhere here and then i'm going to hold down alt and break the slider and this should move this way and this should go in here like that all right all right this is good so i'm going to select the ok button then i'm going to make a copy of this again and double click on the layer to activate the color picker uh adjustment here and i'm gonna copy my next color code here and i'm gonna paste this here and select the okay button so this is going to affect 
uh, the mid tone. So I'm going to double click on the layer again to activate the layer style. And this time I'm going to move this down to this side a bit. And this should go in here like so. And I'm going to hold on Alt and move this to this side and move this down to this side like that. And this can now go in this way and hold on Alt again to break the slider and move this to this side and this to the side like that all right so i think this is okay and i'm going to select the okay button now for the next um, color i'm going to make a copy of this again and i'm going to double click on the thumbnail of the um layer then i'll copy my next um, color code here and paste this all right so for this i'm going to double click on the layer again to activate the layer style and now i'm going to move this out a bit and this should also follow all right it should also follow uh so this should uh, be somewhere around here all right like that it should be here so then i'm going to hold on alt and break the slider Hold on, Alt, and break the slider, and this should move the into this. And now, anytime you see me break the slider, what I'm trying to do is to um, make the edges of the colors soft. All right, is to blend it with the, the other colors. All right, so this should be here, like that. And let's see if we move this this way. I think this is okay. So let's. I'm gonna select the OK button. Then I'm gonna make a copy of this again and do the same move again double click on the color copy the color code and i'm going to paste this here and select the ok button then double click on this side of the layer to activate the layer style and this time i'm going to move this to uh let's say should be here and this should be here all right move this out a bit like that all right here like that and this is okay for now and i'm going to select the uh you know what i still want to have more whites on the project so i'm going to move this down to this side because i'm still adding one more color to the project and i'm going to select the okay button now so then i'm going to make a copy of this again and this time I'm going to copy the last color, double click on the color picker and select the uh, paste the color, excuse me. And I'm um, going to hit the OK button, then double click on the layer to activate the layer style. And this should only affect the highlight part. All right. So I'm going to just move this here and move this to uh, this side like that. All right, and I'm going to select the OK uh, button. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm beginning to see some, you know, errors here that I need to fix. So what I'm going to do is, um, so first off, I am going to um, select this layer here, select the brush tool, increase my brush size, and make sure that on your brush settings here, you have transpa transfer checked if you have a graphics tablet but if you don't make sure your flow is set to 11 so then i'm going to gently apply this here all right because i want to reduce the strength of the uh then for my um highlight here i still want to have more light here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um move this smoke here i'm going to move it out all right, I'm going to move it out and let's see. Uh, my yellow here still needs to have more faded um, fill. So what I'm going to do is to double click on the uh, layer to bring out the layer style because everything's looking too razor sharp. So we need to split the slider to help the fading look of um, the project. So I'm going to hold on Alt and break this. All right, and this should move to this side and this should move 
uh, more to uh, this side like that. And let's see if I do the same thing here. Hold on or break the slider. Move this to this side. And I'm going to move this to uh, about this side. Then for, th for this color here, which is uh, our orange color here, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, double click on the layer. Hold on or break the slider. Move this here. Now you see we're beginning to have that faded um, effect on the project. All right. So I'm going to move this here. Now, please kind of pay attention to this side so you get what I'm trying to achieve here. All right. So I'm going to move this here like that. And this should move right about here. Just like that. And this is beautiful. So I'm going to zoom in. And this is what we have at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is, you know what, let's just, re let's just rotate our ball more. So I'm going to rotate it this way. Hit the enter key. All right. And for my ball here, I'm going to activate curve here and click on the clip icon because I only want this to affect the layer of the ball. So I'm going to move this up right about here. All right. And I'm going to hit Ctrl I to reverse the mask of the curve layer. Then I'm going to select the brush to increase, reduce my brush size. Make sure that your um, foreground here is set to white. So I'm going to click on this icon to switch to uh, white and go to my brush settings there. Make sure um, I'm on the soft round brush on your transfer option here. Make sure it's checked. Anytime you see me check the transfer option, just know you're supposed to adjust your flow if you're using this. All right. So then I'm going to just apply that here gently because I really want to have that light effect on my ball. All right. So I'm going to increase my brush size and just do that here to help the beauty of the project. Now, pause. I'm sure you're enjoying this tutorial. Now, two ways you can support me is by clicking the subscribe button if you have not. And also remember to click the like button. Now, let's continue the tutorial. Therefore, my character here. I'm going to do the same thing by activating curve adjustment and click on this to clip it to apply it to just only the layer of my character here. And I'm going to move this to this size and increase this like so. And I'm going to make the same move again by hitting Ctrl I to reverse the mask and select the brush tool. And this time, make sure you're still on the soft front brush. And I'm going to just apply the light effect here like so all right so i'm on the my brush is um i mean my foreground is on white all right make sure your foreground is on white when you're doing this all right so i'm just going to gently apply this here and just add more lights here like that same thing here all right and there okay so let's see um let's see let's see Okay. So this is beautiful. All right. And then the other thing I want to do again is to add more um, smoke here. So I'm going to make a copy of this. Then I'm going to add a layer max to this. All right. And make sure that my foreground is set to black. Select the brush tool. Make sure transfer is checked. Increase my brush size. And I'm going to take this out from here. Because I only want to have this light effect on this side of um, my project like that. All right. That's good. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to stamp visible the project. All right. Because we need to um, smooth this effect that we did here. So what I'm going to do is to select the very last layer, which is this color here. And hit Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E to do that. Then I'm going to select the uh, under the brush tool. I'm going to click and hold down. Till I see the options of the sub um, tools under it and select the mixer. All right. So uh, my wet is 80 here. Um, load is 75. Mix is 90. Flow is 13. And every other setting is fine the way they are. And I'm going to um, make sure that I'm on the soft round brush when I'm doing this. And let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to zoom in. All right, and like that, right? So that's one of the ways to put this to form, right? So watch the way I'm moving my mouse button there, right? Please 
apply the way I'm applying it to my project. All right, so uh, I'm done applying the mixer brush. So the next thing we're doing now is to uh, apply our uh, text. All right, but before we do the applying of the text, I need to quickly let you guys know this, that please don't apply the mixer brush to this area of your project. All right, don't only affect the face and then touch um, this um, you know side of the project, but please avoid making it touch the... Uh, the board of the basketball net okay so uh we need to apply our text now so i'm going to start with the title so i'll copy that and i'm going to hit the text tool and hit ctrl v to paste it and change the color to white so i'm going to change it to incised 901 and i'm going to select this and hit the enter key and i'm going to make this bigger because it's the title so it needs to be bigger i'm going to move this i'm going to select the d text and reduce the size of the text and i'm going to move this in and i'm going to adjust the space between the rows i'll move that Move this cap layer like that, like that. And I'm gonna act make, activate the pre transform and make this a bit bigger. Then I'll double click on the layer to apply the layer style. All right, so now I'm gonna apply shadow to this. And under my opacity here, I'm gonna change this to 100. And my size is going to be on um, zero. And I'm gonna move this to this side and select the OK button then for the credits all right the credit so i'm going to drag that and drop here and this should be here all right and i'm going to adjust the size like that and this should move to somewhere here so there's a particular color i need to use here so i'm going to double click on the layer of the credit and go under the color overlay here all right uh yeah the color is already there so this is the color code 74c5d1 then i'm going to uh, let's make it a bit brighter like that all right yeah that's good so it's 8dd2dc then i'm going to select the ok button and i'm going to select the ok button here so it's time for me to apply the logos so i'm going to drag the logos and drop here Reduce the size, position it here. Then I'm going to hold down Alt and drag the color overlay that I just applied to the credit and drop on the logo to change the color of the logos. Then I'm going to select my text tool now and just type the dates. All right, which is October 12th. And change my font here to Euro style. All right, and this should be somewhere here, and I'm going to increase my size, the size of my text here. All right. Okay, then I'm going to move the logo out like that, and this should move up more. Okay, so my the logos need to go a bit smaller. Yep. Then, um, so I'm going to select the logos the date and the credits and activate the free transform right click and select skew and hit um skew it to this direction all right and that's okay uh so for um the title i'm going to hold down control and click on the title and activate the free transform right click and select skew again and move this up like that all right then for um the writer so what i'm going to do is to make a copy of the date all right and this should be up here i'll double click on it and then copy that 
copy and hit control v and i'm gonna add space between the rows like that and move this down here so i need a color code from the logos so what i'm gonna do is to double click on the logos and copy the color code select the ok button and come right here and paste the color all right then the other thing i'm going to do again is to drag and drop the image of my cloud from the exercise files and this should be here and then i'm going to just change this to screen and adjust the opacity like that all right so the next thing i need to do now is to make the colors pop so i'm going to select the rider all right and i'm going to activate hue saturation and just adjust the saturation a bit all right so as to make the color pop then the last thing i'm going to do here now is to hold down control and create a new layer and call this new layer noise all right and then change my blend mode here to soft light and change the and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option here and select the okay button then i'll go to filter noise and say add noise excuse me i say add noise and i'm going to leave my amount to 15.84 here and distribution is going to be uniform monochromatic is going to be checked and i'm going to select the okay button we can even just reduce the opacity a bit that's the opacity of the noise a bit just in case it's looking too strong so the other thing I'm going to do again here now is to create a new layer because I really want to make um, my credit here a bit visible. All right. So I'm going to go to my brush tip here. Make sure you're on the software brush when you're doing this. And I'm going to just apply this somewhere here. Gently, not too much, just light uh, brush there. And then um, for my right i'm thinking of making that a bit a bit bigger all right like that and that is it wow i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials like share and comment on this video and i can wait to see your version of this tutorial kindly post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my instagram handle is at caesar graphics and also remember to use the hashtag caesar graphics all right so thank you and i'll see you again in the next one peace